folks, Jonathan here. All right, we're back. Back to get the uh, the second Fairbanks engine. And uh, get down here to it. A little bouncy. It's about seven in the morning. So the reason I do this early is, well, there's a couple reasons. One reason is because is I've got a lot to do during the day. So I can be back home by uh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Uh, about 72 miles away and that way I can get back to work uh, the second reason is the guy that I'm purchasing this, purchasing, uh, purchasing this from is uh, working third shift he works swing shift but he has to be on third shift so he gets off at 7 o'clock he's not very far away so he'll be here in you know 20 30 minutes so, and I'm you know would prefer not to come get anything without him being here so mm -hmm. got some steep hills there camera don't show how steep stuff really is but steep hills there's some old stuff old steel wheel another performance during 1530s I think there's a uh, that looks like a 70 Oliver Rowcroft with the covers. So here is a row on the right of engines. A lot of them are hit and miss engines. All covered up. single cylinder engine and then I'm going to double check the measurements on the nuts on the flywheel of the big engine. Can't go through there because there's a septic tank so I've got to come out and cut around the top. Uh, we're going to measure them nuts and make sure we can get a nice uh, let's have 30 there. That's the bigger track. So we cut back right here. And there's a steel wheel fortune tractor. And then we got some more. Oh, just different stuff. Model T. Phone booth. More tractors. Another Oliver. There's Gibson. Oh, uh, there's some tracks and tractors here which are fortunes with tracks on trucks. Uh, there's some cubs, formal cubs. I always cut through this way. None of them. Try to take it where it's easiest on my truck. That side leaning ain't no fun. So these are all tractors here. Bushes growed up around them. All out in there, there's covers with engines and tractors and all kinds of stuff piled up. I haven't even seen all of it, but um, there's a row of forks and tractors all in them trees. It's kind of hard to see. There's a row of John Deere down there as Alice Chalmers. More trucks and more tractors. There's our big engines over there. So let me get backed up. Yeah, I'm not liking this one because I can't get over it very well. This tree's in the way. It's a cedar tree. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the other side of it. It's over here. See if I can spin it around and bring it off this corner. Hmm. That tent is on there to keep everything from rotting. Some of that wood is rotting, some of it hadn't. These are cross poles for telephone poles or uh, light poles, whatever you want to call them. So, this is what I think was going to be the parts engine, but it looks like it looks like the injector pump's taken off. Uh, which I figured this one was parts, but I sort of need a burner. I'm kind of hoping there's a burner on this one. Uh, this one, I don't see any. Oh, I do see one burner. Yeah, there's one burner right there. 
So these are hothead engines. Looks like the injectors and the injector lines are on this one. There uh, might be some oil lines unhooked, but that wouldn't be bad. So this is this one could be a good runner too then. It's pretty complete. So it's gonna be the next fun one. And that don't look good at all. That rot. So we'll get the measurements on them nuts on the plywheel. We'll get that off and then we'll figure it out from there. But I think I'm gonna move this Wisconsin engine. We'll be turn around and back up this side. And see if I can winch this thing around in this way without messing up too much. I think I've come to the conclusion that if I can pull these two pieces of tin off, that tin comes with the engine. I can move this piece, and most of that tin's going to stay under the engine. So if I can get my bed under it, I think it'll slide easier. So wish me luck on this one. This one's not look. This is looking kind of sketchy, but we'll get you set up where you can see it. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. I'm gonna have to pull the truck forward a little bit. Now this one is not going to be quite as easy as the other one. We'll either get it like this or we'll get it after it falls over, right? Huh. That's not good. Sound like I didn't say that. What's up, buddy? Memory's full, so I didn't get the full load, but here we go. What's going on, Jeffa? It's loaded. All right, folks, we're back. This is a big one. Lordy, lordy. She's a big one, too. So, first things first. I did bring my jacks. Uh, Probably gonna jack this back half up. I'm gonna go ahead and get these nuts off, knock these bolts out, throw some wedges in there, try to pull that flywheel. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh, once I jack it up and get the weight off of it, because I think everything has rotted down and now all the weight's on that. So if I can get it jacked up, let me see. We might jack it up from the flywheel and just replace the boards on this side. So this is gonna be a little longer and way more tedious job than what the other ones were uh, we do have a beam here probably use it's in good shape maybe find some more I've got some with me too some smaller ones uh, anyway I think we can make it work so I'm gonna get to work get the jacks off the truck uh, yeah jank jack it up and get it get it the base done first and then we'll start getting the flywheel off. Hopefully I can get these nuts off. I can get these nuts off and get the uh, bolts knocked out of it. I got some wedges I can hammer in there. Got a port of power. We can try to get it off. All right, let's see what happens.
How's it going? You started early this morning. I started early every morning. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo. I always slept. Oh, you're good. I was going to be over here about right at 7. Yeah, I always slept. I heard you go by the house. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't remember if you had to work or not. No, I didn't work last night. Okay. Well, I hate I got you up so early. Oh, you all right. You okay. He does but a thing. It ain't sitting on the ground, is it? It ain't that. <laughs> I got a Oh, you got a jack up here. Oh, shit. I jacked it enough to get them out because I'm going to re-block this side. Yep. Then I'm going to pull fly with them. I should be able to do it. Let me get this thing out of Hey, remember, everything's heavy. Ah! Oh, God! 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 He was up on these I jumped up about eight or ten deer coming in here. Yeah. When it's coming around. Yeah. They went running over with me. <laughs> they were doing like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you not much tail. You didn't have that going while we were taking it. No, I didn't. <laughs> it done run out of time. I didn't need old uh, OSHA to come out here and light us up.
These new winches got a planetary in your way.
We're loaded, so it wasn't easy. Flywheel was pretty tough to get off, but we got it. All right, all right, folks. We are loaded. We're coming out again. It's not wet this time, though, so I think we're okay. Before we got a load on. You can tell she's heavy. my butt. I didn't film it, but uh, it was a long, tedious job. All right. All right, folks, officially made it home with this thing. So this is 18,500 with the flywheel, and the flywheel should be about 2,500. So it's about 16,000 pounds. And, uh, you know, we had a, a, little, a little bit of issue loading it, but, you know, the whole deal was it was on a rotted uh, creosote. Uh, railroad ties so we've got it and uh, so here it is so this one's got a tag on it it is 75 horsepower and it does have one burner on it which is in the center up there and it's missing the burner on this end and I don't know if there's any more burners or not but I know I got some other extra parts that so we've got a whole nother load at least uh, maybe two loads got three flywheels uh, a lot of let me see air tanks water tanks water pumps yeah all the parts that was with these things and as you can see the other one there that's the single for parts and uh it's hooked up uh, to the forklift and that forklift will pick it up now the other the yellow forklift won't it you know it's a little bit heavy for it but uh this one here that forklift there won't pick up but uh, we can either, we can use the crane or slide it off, not a problem. So. Anyway, there's going to be a lot more on these later. One of these engines is going to get started, probably the other single, but maybe this two cylinder, I don't know. But uh, eventually we'll do some more video on it. I'll talk more about it, uh, how the hothead works. Uh, this is a, considered a semi-diesel, not a full diesel. And I've learned a lot about them, so, you know, and I'll try to pass that on. But anyway, they are two cycle but uh semi diesels what they're considered so there you go uh and until next time appreciate everybody watching bye